everyone welcome back to my channel it's Demetrius here again I'm just making a small little quick update with a video just to update some of my subscribers uh, I've been told a couple of times on my videos that uh, it looks like the audio that I've been recording has been cooked or for some reason it's gone a bit too loud or too clicky so I'm hoping that this video has kind of sorted things out when it comes to the audio I'm not too sure I was busy you know editing the videos uh, with CapCut and uh, now I'm using DaVinci Resolve so I'm not too sure where things went wrong with the audio but I'm hoping that the audio levels now are at the right place uh, so let me know how this sounds on your side I'm curious basically anyway and um, a little quick update with regards to the kind of applications that I'm using I'm no longer going to be using Adobe products I'm sure you're all well aware right now of what Adobe has done in the last couple of months, uh, in fact what they've been doing for a long time and that is they recently changed their terms and conditions so that whatever Adobe products you're using, Adobe Photoshop, Illustrator, all the different programs you had, uh, those the rights to your media files that you were creating and uh, the, the physical sort of media you were, you were using, the software and everything, anything you do create with Adobe products would now be the ownership and property of Adobe and I, that was quite surprising in terms and conditions a truly incredible oversight from Adobe and I don't think it was an oversight I think it was quite purposeful because as you could see they were doing this for many years in their terms and conditions and they've been uh, sort of using all your content that you've created which you've spent a long time trying to create and spend hard-earned money and also uh, <laughs> you obviously worked on client work some of you professionals out there that or well, a lot of you that had NDAs with your customers so can you imagine the work that you're working with for your customer actually finds itself into another website somewhere else being sold by Adobe that was a pretty bad decision Adobe from a business perspective of course following the whiplash that the the internet line uh, people on all over the world and YouTube uh, you, Adobe promptly changed their terms and conditions again back to what they were but added an interesting clause so when you when you break down their, their terms and conditions you'll actually notice that nothing's really changed and that essentially is that they're obviously working in a back-end system for artificial intelligence they're just hiding the fact that they're going to be doing a lot of the actual learning and machine learning with all your files that you've done in the past so yeah that's a little underhanded and it's a little nefarious in my opinion not a little quite nefarious and it concerns me about Adobe because they've always had problems I think since you know we're talking years ago when they moved over to the subscription model it really is daylight robbery so if I look back at my costs that I've been paying Adobe products for even though I don't do a lot of photo editing and illustration I mean I was on 39 a month so $39 a month if you calculate that over a year that's like well over 1,500 pounds you know that's pretty insane $1,500 whatever so it's pretty crazy the amount of money I spent so essentially I'm basically paying the same amount as what I'd pay when I when I was buying the software outright and it was unlimited and I can use it as much as I wanted so it was like it's a little nefarious uh, in my opinion very bad business from Adobe and I have now moved over I've completely not only deleted all my media off the Adobe stock which I used to sell a lot of media on Adobe stock not only have I removed my account from Adobe also they make it very difficult for you to actually cancel your subscription and cancel your account and delete your account it's really quite annoying actually and I know they've been taken to court for this but really they haven't done a better job in fixing the process for this so it took me quite a while to take away a lot of the things from Adobe and to finally put in the the cancellation on my membership and uh, actually putting a stop on my bank actually I had to go to my bank and actually put a stop order and uh, gosh that's not a normal thing to do against a retailer and and in this case this media group and I also made a request to delete the account because they wanted to keep the account open and have some basic usage out of it and obviously still keep on stealing information I even added my uh, I even put Wireshark into my system which I use for my security work just so I could analyze the traffic leaving my system while I was using Adobe and there was a lot of traffic being sent back to Adobe via encrypted tunnels so to me there's definitely nefarious movements and I'm not impressed so 
what did I do? I decided to move to Affinity. Affinity is an incredible set of tools and I've gone and, you, and set up a one-time payment, uh, uh, one-time payment once off forever payment so I don't have to pay again and I paid $70 and I'm getting Affinity Photo 2, I'm getting an Affinity Designer and I'm getting Affinity Publisher and it has everything I need. It does everything I would need inside Photoshop and actually does it a better job. And they've got far better features. Plus I can run the same applications on my tablet, which Adobe has absolutely disastrously created Photoshop and Lightroom for, for tablets and iPads, which is terrible software. That just doesn't work. It's rubbish. From a photographer and videographer, I can tell you that they're trash. So well done, Affinity. Well done for creating an incredible software. And I'm running on all my devices and it's fantastic. Uh, I can't believe it. And I only had to pay once. $70 and lifetime and that's it. And there's no monthly fee. So I feel very sad that I had to spend so much money with Adobe and I had the trust that I put in Adobe for so many years. I feel duped and hoodwinked into it. But you know what? Adobe, no more. And I think you're going to be losing a lot of subscribers even though you try to backpedal in your 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 sort of terms and conditions because people know today they know very well what is genuine and what is not so i'm very sad to see this happen because it's long time waiting for adobe to take this hit but at the end of the day adobe you deserve it for being absolutely unethical for being terrible business people for not updating your software for years especially for painters people who do coloring and painting because you have truly not actually updated any of your software till the original adobe 12 and 13 that i was using which is a full release and it was st it's still the same system so you, you know really when you have a bunch of suits running a company this is what happens which is why affinity is such a great product because you got real creative media people behind this and you know what good on you affinity good on you guys because you now have a valued customer and i'm gonna keep on pushing this software for all my students and all my friends and all my colleagues because it deserves to be pushed this way so for those of you interested in a great alternative to adobe and believe me it is far better than just being an alternative it's actually impressive um, take a look at the affinity products especially now that they've got a great special because they realized they realize that, well, Adobe is messing up, so Affinity comes to the rescue. And they've done a tremendous job with their software. And I mean, really impressive stuff. Some of those things that they do, some of the features inside their software completely surpasses Photoshop, Illustrator, all these wonderful tools that Adobe used to you know, push and market. So I'm done. I'm completely done with Adobe. I've literally deleted everything. I've wiped everything and I've taken every single file that I've created and I've left on Adobe and I've moved it off there. I've even made a, a document of everything that I had on there and I've sent legal documentation. I've sent from my lawyers legal paperwork to actually request all my data to be returned to me. I don't want any of my data to be used by Adobe for any kind of machine learning or anything like that. They didn't get my, my permission to do this. So at the end of the day, good luck adobe because you're gonna need it you know this is the world of it and this is the world of the the social media today you are in big trouble and i and i i wish you luck because if you don't backpedal and you don't really change your ways and go back to what you should be which is a one-off payment system you're going to lose all your subscribers at some point because affinity will destroy you they've got better products and their model for business is just simple model, right? One-off payment. And they value their customers and their updates are incredible. So yeah, what a sad time for Adobe. Truly sad for you. I'm, I'm, I'm shocked actually, but at the same time, not surprised because you've been doing nefarious things for many years and you did a lot of bad stuff even against Apple and Apple knew better. That's why they left things like Flash, Adobe Flash and that. So yeah. Um, adios when it comes to Adobe and welcome when it comes to Affinity and Affinity well done guys congratulations you guys are incredible you've got a great team your responses in your emails are so prompt your customer support is incredible your online training is excellent I didn't have to learn much details when it comes to using your products it was pretty natural to me in fact it became a little bit more natural using Affinity especially Affinity Photo and Illustrator because 
sorry, affinity uh, photo and uh, affinity designer, what I'm saying. Um, because it felt like more of a media creative approach to things. Uh, and I can't wait to see all the updates you're going to be bringing out in the future because I think you guys have got some really cool things coming. And you've got a great platform. The fact that it works seamlessly on a tablet and I can take all my work remotely now as a videographer and photographer, which is one of the things that I do and literally edit on my iPad without having to take my laptop with me, which is a top of the line MacBook M3, M3 Max Pro. Uh, I don't need my Mac machine anymore. I can just take my iPad to do editing. That alone is insanely cool especially for clients and client work which means i'm not going to lose out or compromise on any features and that is alone the price tag for 70 and that's a one-off payment let alone the fact that you know i would have been willing to pay affinity a subscription fee but here's the thing i don't think people want to go back to the subscription model because it actually doesn't work it doesn't suffice it also makes the company complacent because they become money greedy grabbing companies and they don't update their software as often as they should which is why a one-off payment is more important because it puts the pressure on the company to improve their software and keep their customer base which means it keeps you guys innovating so absolutely well done the company behind affinity you guys are geniuses and at the end of the day I'm not sorry for Adobe. I think you, it's well deserved for you guys to lose thousands and thousands and thousands of subscribers. And you know what? You're probably going to lose all of them at some point if you continue this road. So that's all I wanted to say when it comes to the Adobe fight. And uh, yeah, I'm done. Every possible conceivable Adobe product has left my industry. And i have no longer using it in six of my companies that I work with. So Adobe, you've lost not just one customer here. You've lost hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of customers that I work with and you're going to be losing thousands of students that actually deliver training with so good luck to you anyway my name is Demetrius once again here from OB Pixel thank you for your time today thank you to all my subscribers for subscribing to my channel those of you who are new please a little quick subscription on there will help my algorithm and just point my videos to new people this wasn't anything fancy as a video. I just wanted to do a quick little update. Hopefully my audio is sounding a bit better. It's not clipping or it's not overcooked or anything like that. I'm not going to process any kind of audio. I don't normally do anyway. Um, but I am going to take it directly into DaVinci Resolve. So hopefully what you see now is pretty much normal. And uh, yeah, to a fair goodbye and a farewell to Adobe. My name is Demetrius. Once again, signing out. Cheers.